Hi everyone, this is Fabi and I'm here to show you how ChatGPT can revolutionize the way you write embedded code without flipping through endless pages of documentation or fighting with syntax. But first, what is ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT is an AI-powered language model that has been trained on a vast amount of text data. It has the ability to understand natural language and to generate human-like responses. That's right, with ChatGPT, you can write embedded code in a more intuitive and streamlined way. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to configure the ADC module for you and it will come up with the necessary code, including the configuration of the ADC control registers and the ADC interrupt handler. Let's take a look at how it does just this after taking a quick look at the Palatino clock lamp from today's sponsor, Zona. This innovative lamp features a beautiful analog clock as well as a dimmable LED ambient light that provides the perfect ambiance for any occasion. And that's not all, the Palatino clock lamp also features wireless charging capability so you can easily charge your phone without the hassle of cords and cables. With stylus design, it will be a stylish and practical addition to any home decor. So whether you're looking to spruce up your home with new decor items or are looking for that perfect piece of furniture, Zona has something for everybody. Visit their website to explore their full range of products and see how they can enhance the look and functionality of your home. So how hard is it to actually tell ChatGPT what you want it to do? Here's how it works. You simply input in natural language what you want it to do, like initialize the ADC module on the MSP430 G2553 to measure the voltage on port B1.1 if the supply voltage for the microcontroller is 3.6 volts, and ChatGPT will generate the corresponding embedded code for you. Not only this, but as you can see, it also gives you really detailed explanations on how it has configured the module to do what you asked it to do. Additionally, it also nicely comments the lines of code so you can tell exactly what effect each line of code will have. This obviously also has a huge educational effect for people starting out as they can more confidently start making changes to the code to experiment when they can easily figure out what the end effect will be. Additionally, you can tell it to expand what it just wrote to do more. So let's tell it to actually measure the voltage at the set pin every second after we initially told it only to initialize the module. It picks up right where it left off, knowing what it already configured and it sets up the timer for 1 second interrupts in order to measure the voltage once per second. Now, to be fair, it's not the most optimized. I'd use the A clock or auxiliary clock for example for the timer in order to go to sleep between interrupts and save some energy but these are things that can be modified easily afterwards. It also does do mistakes sometimes. The code it just came up with contains one for example, it sets the reference voltage for the ADC at 2.5 volts but then uses a 3.6 voltage in the voltage calculation which is obviously going to lead to an error. But how does ChatGPT know how to write embedded code? Well first of all, it has been trained on a vast database of embedded programming languages like C and C++. It has learned the syntax and the structure of these languages and can use that knowledge to generate code based on your requests. And while arguably the last example could have just been scraped off Texas Instruments code examples from the web, it can also do more complex things which are not readily available on the internet. So let's see how ChatGPT configures the MSP430 microcontroller to turn a servo motor when a user presses a button. Notice how this doesn't tell ChatGPT explicitly to configure a specific module, it has to figure out what it needs to be configured in order to implement the requested functionality itself. Again, not the most optimized, the one second delay could have been generated using timers, but it did what I told it to do, so I definitely say it passed the test. Like, this is properly cool. The way it cleanly defines the constants it uses, the way it documents everything through comments, and if you're actually somewhat experienced, 
You can come up with further requirements in the initial request and the code will look a lot more like how you'd have written it. But ChatGPT is obviously not just a code generator. It's a great tool for understanding existing code as well. With its ability to explain code, ChatGPT enables you to understand how different parts of code work together and also how to modify them to achieve your desired outcome. So let's feed it a mostly uncommented snippet of code and see if it can figure out what it does. And as you can see, it delivers. I fed it some code I wrote in university to parse GPS commands and it tells us exactly what it does. Most of the time, the challenge of writing code for humans is solving complex problems, like coming up with ideas on how to solve or implement something and not just the syntax of it. The problem with humans writing code, especially for embedded systems though, is the fact that we are bad at remembering things. And when you write code for embedded systems, you have to remember what a lot of registers do or otherwise you're going to always have to look through documentation. Now, obviously for easy things like timers, which you might use on a more regular basis, you remember them after some time. But there are a lot of registers and microcontrollers and it's really hard to remember them all and it's just not something that we humans do. Here's exactly where ChatGPT shines. You tell it your requirement, like setting up a serial module to set up communication through an Arduino, let's say, and it comes up with the code in just seconds. I have to admit, it is scary to think about how far AI has come. While it won't make software or embedded software engineers obsolete, if used right by the companies, it can lower the amount of developers needed appreciably. What is perhaps even scarier to me though, is the fact that the script for the video you just watched, along with its slightly clickbaity title, was mostly put together by none other than ChatGPT. And all I had to do was to tell it what my name was, what the video was about, and the fact that I wanted a script for it. And it came up with a pretty well thought out and very thorough script for the video, which I copy and pasted into my word processing program. I enhanced it, obviously, but it was a great starting point. Given how powerful this tool is, it makes me wonder how life on Earth is going to look like five years from now. It definitely has the potential to change human life as we know it, but the question is if we're able to find a way so that everybody profits from it, not just a select few. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. All of these things help me out tremendously on YouTube. Also, don't forget to check out Zona with their amazing home decor items that will definitely up your home decor game. If you're interested in giving ChatGPT a chance with writing embedded code, then also make sure to buy the MSP430 Launchpad, which is going to be available at the link in the description down below. Anyways, I'll catch up with you in the next video. Stay tuned.